Hi, I'm Andrew Wood, and from everyone at Wood Property, I hope this finds you well. I wanted to provide you with an important update that may directly impact you. You will have heard and read that during COVID-19, a landlord cannot evict a tenant. But did you also know that now it is illegal in Victoria for a residential tenant who is not se severely impacted by COVID-19 to move out of their home, even if their lease has ended and is only on a month-to-month -month basis? Yes, that is correct. You heard it right. It is su a surprising change in unusual times. But unless a tenant is severely impacted by COVID-19, they cannot give notice of their intention to vacate their home, even if their lease has ended. So if you're a tenant on a month-to-month -month lease and you are not severely impacted by COVID-19, you cannot legally move out of your home to say, move into another leased property or move back in with your parents or move into a new home you have purchased or move into with some friends just to try and save some money or move cities to start a new job. Unless a tenant satisfies one of these four criteria being you require temporary crisis accommodation, you are accepting an offer for public housing, you require special personal care, or you are severely impacted by COVID-19, you cannot move out of your tenanted home for six months from the end of March. Now that takes us to the end of September. So until then, no owner can ask a tenant to move out and no tenant can, can give notice to move out unless they satisfy one of those four criteria. It's a bizarre situation that has recently become law following the COVID-19 Omnibus Emergency Measures Bill, which included amendments to the Residential Tenancies Act and was passed through Victorian Parliament recently. Tenants Victoria website has just been updated with details of this, and if you would like further information, please visit their website or call us. This is a big change to what everyone is used to, and you may not consider it to be the right or fair thing, but we are in very interesting times we can only guess what the reason is for this change, but it may be that the government is trying to provide some balance between landlords and tenants by saying, okay, well, if an owner is unable to evict a tenant during COVID-19, then it is only fair that the tenant is also unable to vacate the property to try and give each party the same level of security. Now, if you've got any questions about this or any other issues, please contact us so we can hopefully sort it out. Keep well and thanks for your understanding and cooperation during these very unique times.